I like how you doubled up on the racism because it's neither Puerto Rican nor Mexican, it's <laughs> Spanish. So I just don't want the audience going out and telling their friends they're like, oh yeah, Matadors are Spanish. So I'm just trying to help you guys out just for that. All right, are you guys ready for the next comedian? Woo! All right, give it up for our favorite Trump supporter. Give it up for Van Dykes. <laughs> Watch the bad guy. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to come and perform. I actually literally just came up on the street. I'm not homeless or anything, you know, I got a full-time job, but I just came from another bar, so it's like, and I was passing by, and I know this place does open mics, and I thought, you know what, what the heck, you know? So I'll just give it a try. And... Everyone's been ripping on me all night because I'm a Trump supporter, so it's like, you know what, I don't care, I am what I am, and that's all it is, you know what I'm saying? So, you guys hate me? <laughs> well, I'm going to give you some more reasons to hate me, so not only am I a Trump supporter, I'm also a Bible-believing Christian, I believe in traditional marriage, I'm a Republican, I'm conservative, and I'm pro-life. So basically, I'm the kind of person that everyone in this room hates. Thank you. Thank you very much. I don't care. <laughs> so normally when I do these um, open mic things, I usually like to try and go up first. You know, and it's not because I think I'm special or anything. It's just that I just want to put myself out of my misery as soon as possible. I suffer from anxiety, folks. You know, I'm a guy who's got a lot of problems, you know. I'll just, um... Give you a couple examples. You know, I suffer from anxiety, autism, I'm dyslexic, I'm involuntarily celibate. <laughs> yeah, I'll say it again. I'm a guy who's got a lot of problems. So, the one that bothers me the most is the uh, celibate thing. It makes me, <laughs> yeah, it makes me frustrated sexually. But I'm gonna stop it right there, you know, because I don't want anyone in here to think that I'm a brand new Elliot Roger. No, 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 no. I don't want people calling the cops on me and they come to my door like, you know, you said some pretty um, interesting things last night and people are kind of concerned. So it's like, dude, I was just giving a performance. Dude. 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 Yeah. Dude. Say it with me. Dude. 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 <laughs> You know, and as Kevin was saying, you guys, you kind of blew it for me. I, I am a ventriloquist, and I have someone very special in my backpack who I'm going to bring out real quick. Is it Donald Trump? How'd you guess? Ladies and gentlemen, the 45th president, hopefully the 47th president, Donald Trump!
up for your next